there everyone thank you for coming back so this is architect home remodel for house number one and this is in collaboration with Alyssa over at sims therapy she has also remodeled this house and i can't wait to see what she's done with hers so this is obviously the before it is such a cute little house i really loved it as soon as i saw it and you know you can tell they put their own little personal touches on it but this was the kind of house that I really just enjoyed going in and taking everything out and just redoing it in my own style. And I also like their little glitches here. I tried to keep most of them. However, when I went to go put some patios on, as you'll see in the after, some of them disappeared. And I was kind of sad about that because I don't know how to glitch anymore since they took away the pregnancy glitch. But anyway... The first thing that drew me to this house was the exterior and just how really cute it is. I liked this little glitch over here too. I think that's really pretty. And that little area there on the side of the house where you have the little doorway and the walkthrough. You'll see what I did with that in the after as well. So coming inside, you can tell the game really took some things out of here. But they used that designer home kitchen and they have the chalet table there. I really like how it's arranged or is really supposed to be arranged. You can kind of imagine where they had the couch there in front of the coffee table. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I have a lot of trouble with big rooms like that. So I was a little bit intimidated about that. But there you have a little office and a small bathroom here. And then that is that side of the house. So you don't have a whole lot of inventory items in here. There are a few. But the cool thing is there are some glitches here. They have the mirror glitch there over that bed. And then they have the, I think it's supposed to be a laundry room and they may have taken out the washer and dryer. And then right here you have an ensuite master bath. And that's another glitch that I tried to keep. But unfortunately, when I put a back patio on, it went away. But I really liked how they did the tub here. I think that's really cute. So that is the interior of it before, and coming up next, you will see what it looks like after I redecorated it. And I also wanted to pop in here before I show you the after and point out the fact that you have a police car with this. At least I did. Let me know in the comments if your house number one comes with a police car, but this is the after here. I've used some brick on this, and I went back and forth. There's the before again. But I went back and forth on the exterior, and I did settle on the brick. I haven't done a brick home in a while, and I thought it looked really cute as a brick house. But as you see here, a couple of the glitches stayed. But when I put the sidewalk in, the other plants unglitched. But I still think it looks cute like that. So I just, I didn't want to remove the glitched plants, and I kept it like that. And that's what I did with the area where you see the walkway. They kind of had it closed in mostly, but I just put arches all through it and made it a flower bed. And then luckily that glitch stayed, so I kept that there. And then over here, I've redone the patio. That was another glitch there that I was sad to lose. Remember the tree they had there with the lavender? That went away, and I don't know why that one went away because I didn't change anything near it, so... Not quite sure what happened to that one, but instead I put the nice pine tree there. Luckily though, even though I put a patio, this glitch stayed. So I'm sort of confused because I know that if you add patios, it can take away glitches, but that one stayed. So I'm kind of glad about that. I've put one of those new sets that I bought in an online pack there as a patio set. And then back in the backyard, I was going to add a pool or maybe even a garage but I decided to go with the surroundings and just make it nice and relaxing and wooded back here. And you can see I've put a hammock back there and just added on a patio in the back with some matching patio furniture and a grill. And there's where I put the hammock there in between the two trees. And I really like that lounge chair. I haven't used that in a while. So I decided to put that back there along with some trash cans. So that's what the new exterior looks like. Again, I really liked it the way it was, but I wanted to put some brick on there. And now we'll go in and take a look at what it looks like inside now. So remember I said I have a lot of trouble decorating these long, large great room areas? I did not have a lot of trouble with this one. 
Again, with the online pack, I wanted to put these in here so you could see what they look like in a setting, you know, in a room. They are beautiful, and if you can get them, please do. You will enjoy these a lot. The couches and the chairs, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I've brought out the color of the couch with accent walls you can see from the Desert Oasis. I've also used some of the new light fixtures through here. I've used the decoration there from the Moroccan update. And in the middle of the room, I've included the new table and chairs from the online pack with one of the Moroccan rugs. And then to balance out the wood on the other side, I've put a bookshelf. And then over here is the kitchen and then, boom, <laughs> I added in a rolling cart. I realized as I was videoing this that there was something missing and that I had intended to put one in and forgot. So I went ahead and put that in there. And I think this kitchen is really pretty. Remember they had the black and silver in here, which looked just fine the way it was. But this is one of my favorite cabinet and countertop sets. So I wanted to use it in here. And I think it looks really pretty with the stainless steel appliances there. So it's a nice big open room. And again, I had no trouble redecorating it. And then over here on the side, you'll see there's two doors here on either side of that pretty shelf. This was an office here. I decided to relocate the laundry room over here and then adjoin it to a half bath. So you have a door to go into either one and then there's a doorway that joins them up. Over here is what the bedroom looks like now. This is one of my favorite beds. And I wanted to experiment with those new light fixtures and I think those look really pretty like that on either side of the bed. And I also brought that same wall color in that is on the accent walls in the great room. Not only so the house sort of flowed better, but also, as you know, you've seen me use it before with this bed. It matches the pillows on the bed pretty well, so I thought it would look really nice in this bedroom. So here is where the closet is now. That used to be the laundry area, and this is the master bathroom, redecorated. So since I lost the glitch there where the tub was, I decided to put the huge chalet vanity in here with the rose gold. And then I put the rose gold light fixture over top. They already had the rose gold towel rack there. So I couldn't really find a rose gold shower that I wanted to use in here. I have one, but it just didn't look right. So I think it looks fine with the regular gold shower head. And then you have the toilet over there and the toilet paper holder. So I think the bathroom came together just fine. And this little floor plan, I think, is just so very cute as a one story. But I also wanted to show you what it would look like if you bought it and added a story to it. It actually has a very nice shape, even with this type of roof, which, as you know, using this type of roof, it can be a little picky on the shape of the house and look kind of funny sometimes. So let's go and look at some exteriors here. I tried that one out and didn't really like it. I like this one. I do like the white or the ivory color and also I thought about this black with the black roof and the stone on the bottom. If you change the chimney and then took off the fencing in the front, that might actually work. I've never tried that combination before, but I think it would actually work. So here's one of the newer exteriors here. That looks really nice and I like this one too. Now keep in mind when I do some of these colors, obviously you would need to change the roof color, but I wanted to look at some other exteriors on the home. And I really did have a hard time choosing. I started to do this one too because it matches the fencing around the property. So I ended up with the brick and I'm very happy with it. Here's what it looks like at night. Just wanted to put a clip in here with the flower bed all lit up over there. And then we have the exterior lighting on the patio and in the front of the house. I think it's just such a cute house in the nighttime as well. So that is my remodel of house number one. Again, it was a joy to just go in and redecorate it because the floor plan was really cute as it was. And I love those kind of remodels because sometimes that's just not the case. And I also want to thank Alyssa over at Sims Therapy for collabing with me on this remodel. If you guys have not checked out Sims Therapy's channel, please do. She does a lot of things over there. She does awesome remodels. She does architect home reviews. She does stories. I love her builds. So be sure and check that out. And I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button or leave me a comment. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. 
You guys take care and stay well. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.